di ti walam balong sing poing scabadu hubidi hibidi ha tole tole roy wong yam wong 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 What is up guys, it's me KC, our review Kids with Kids Shows, and today we're going to take a look at Chuck Jones, Mowgli's Brothers. I bet you thought I was talking about the Disney version, but in actuality, I decided to save that for another time. Today I'm just going to talk about uh, the Chuck Jones, Warner Brothers version. So instead I decided to just talk about this little t made for TV movie, Mowgli's Brothers. And, well, uh, it appeared in 1975, and, well, I thought it was an okay film. Well, it's not on par with the Disney version, well, it has, it has some qualities over Disney, but, yeah, and it's a little more faithful to the book than the Disney version was. And who knows, maybe I'll do a cartoon class about this in a later video, but I'll save it for another time. Till then, I'm just gonna review this. Now, if you read the book, you probably already know what's coming. Mowgli's been taken in by the wolves of and being raised on their very own. Uh, and, of course, at the Wolf Council, uh, Baloo and Bagheera are both vowed for the little man cub. And Mother Wolf and Father Wolf named him Mowgli. And, well, for those who don't know, Baloo and Bagheera's character is kind of reversed in the Disney version. And, and the actual version and it's kind of reverse. Bagheera is supposed to be the one that's supposed to be laid back, while Baloo is supposed to be the uptight and strict one. I bet many of you didn't know that. But regardless, but we still love the Disney version of Baloo and Bagheera. Me too. So just can't resist not to dislike these two. But again, when I hear the pair notes. Now, let's talk about animation for a bit. Eh? Chuck, we got the traditional Chuck Jones style of character designs and animation. And <laughs> some people may think that watching a Looney Tunes cartoon rather than an adaptation of the Jungle Book. But, it's not actually that. And there are some really dark moments in the book. And, well, I think they're pretty much showcased here. Shere Khan wants to kill Mowgli. And it's simple as that. And for some reason, this version is a white tiger. Now, I guess it would be difficult to animate a tiger in its regular colors, but yeah, it's clear that they wanted to use a white tiger for some reason. I honestly don't know what that reason was, but they did it. And, well, I'll, uh, I'm no animal expert or anything, but wouldn't white tigers be kind of difficult adjusting with a white fur in the wild? Oh, and you guys know there's another Jungle Book character that didn't make it in the Disney version? Tabaki the Jackal. Yeah, apparently for some reason Tabaki wasn't in the original film. Don't ask me why, but he just wasn't. But he's in this version, and for some reason he kind of looks like Wile E. Coyote. Maybe that's another Chuck Jones trait. I think my favorite moment in this film is where Mowgli... He raised the red flower, aka the fire, uh, and used it to intimidate Shere Khan. And yes, in the Disney version, Mowgli did pretty much the same thing, but not like this. He's staring down a 3,000 pound tiger, right in the face, carrying a torch. He even threatens to shove it down his throat. I don't think that'd be very comfortable with Shere Khan. It'd be incredibly painful. I mean, ouch! I mean, can you imagine if the Mowgli and the Disney version did that? 
That will ruin everyone's childhood. Ooh. Final thoughts? I thought it was pretty decent. I mean, it's not the right home about. I mean, it's not Chuck Jones' finest work. And then again, this is at his golden year, so you can't really blame him for that. And, and well, it's a sad loss for great animators. And he was quite the legend. And well, if you're looking for a faith adaptation of the Jungle Book, this is a flick for ya. Even though it's only a made for TV movie. And well, if you're a fan of the books and want to look at more favorite adaptation, you're probably going to like it. And But if you're more a fan of the Disney version, and you're just going to like the Disney version and find this one not as fine as the Disney version. But, on my thoughts, it's pretty still a decent adaptation. It's not better than the Disney version in my eyes. It, but hey, if it's better than the Disney version in your eyes, that's okay too. Of all rating is a seven out of ten. Check it out for yourself and see if you like it. Well, that's all for that, guys. See you all next time. Farewell, friends. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and don't forget to check us out on Facebook, Twitter, and DeviantArt.